Ben, you got my keys? Yeah, I got them right here, mama. Two. Mom, let me have a lotion. Um, yeah, I put it in first. So, I'm walking home. Um. What if it rains, though? Yeah, I don't think it's gonna rain. I read the weather report. Yeah, oh, I thought it was 81. Okay, who's first? Let's try my light on. My school doesn't really start till like later. But I miss going to Blair. I miss it, but I'll be back here sooner or later. Most likely next year. For my senior year, I'll be here. Hi, Miss Carter. How are you doing this morning? Pretty good, just a little sick, but I'm okay. Yeah, I was really sick yesterday. No, but I can get one to you uh, today or I mean tomorrow. Okay, that would be great. Okay, cool. See you later, miss. Miss Chris. Guys! Yes, well, there, there, we do have two tests going on today. We have the SARS yes. yes. and we have the case of English for today. I'm going to have to split this classroom up after breakfast this morning. Questions? No? Thank you. Have a good morning. Our campus is full service. We have the case management with Healthy Start. You does your basic needs, your mental health counseling. Um, I work closely with the probation officer um, with community service and anger management, um, getting the family back on track at home so that you come to school and do well and then you leave here going to college or finding a job, something productive. Oscar, you have me for geometry and you have me for algebra. No, We run into a lot of students who have come from families where their parents are tired of them. They've gotten in enough trouble or they haven't followed the rules at home and so their parents have washed their hands of them. They can't wait for them to turn 18 years old so that they can be done with what has become a nightmare for them. Um, we have students who are looking for some place to live on top of trying to finish their um, credits for graduation. But we have great resources here to connect them with some kind of housing so that they're not on the street um, and they can go ahead and graduate like normal. We've had students come here that um, had medical issues that put them behind in their credits. You have a more of a one-on-one -on -one with your teacher as opposed to being in a classroom that's overcrowded and you don't get the opportunity to actually get to know your teacher. The Student Leadership Board, it's about giving students a voice. Our president is Ben. As you can see, there's several students in here. Uh, the Student Leadership Board was created here at Rural City High School in order to create some events, uh, plan activities, try to bring spirit into the school, try to make sure that the school is, is cool. Trying to change the reputation that Rural City High School has and we're trying to make sure that people understand that this school has students and that we all have a voice. In 37 states, teacher salaries do not keep the pace of with inflation. The single most important factor in determining student performance is the quality of his or her teachers. Take action today. I mean, is it possible that I can get to volunteer any place I'm really concerned? I feel like I should volunteer this summer. Uh, absolutely. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, starting tomorrow at 9 o'clock, we're going to have some uh, various college students who will be coming in or coming from back east. This will be a great opportunity for you to intermingle and I guess network with them, find out where you want to go in life. 